hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a greasy soup or you can call it melon soup the best and healthy way so for this recipe you will need some melon seeds that's a greasy seeds and with me here i have one and a half cups you will need some palm oil some salt a handful of crayfish, two scotch bonnet peppers and one onion. You will need some dry fish which I've washed and deboned. Some mackerel, I'm using one mackerel. And I'm also going to be using some goat meat. You can use any type of meat you want. But I prefer goat meat because I love goat meat. It's my favorite. You will need some seasoning cubes some fresh um, vegetables this is the type of vegetable I'm using I don't know what it's called but it looks and tastes exactly like ogu leaves if you know ogu you will understand what I'm saying so yeah I love the vegetable so much now in a pot add the meat and pour about one full cup of water into the pot just a little above the meat then add the dry fish add the mackerel I've washed and cut the mackerel as well add your seasoning cubes I'm adding one of the null cubes and in that one and we have two inside it so yeah um, add some salt cover the pot and allow the meat to cook for like 10 minutes so while the meat is cooking I'm going to go ahead and wash the melon seeds this is the most important part of this video I know so many of us we normally the normal way to make a greasy soup is by just grinding it with a dry meal um, without washing it so but this is how I've been making my egg greasy soup and I think this is the best and healthiest way to make egg greasy soup. So I'm going to wash it thoroughly until it turns very clean. Then I'm going to start blending it. Just add it in your blender. Now add enough water just a little above the melon seeds just to help with the blending process. You have to make sure you add enough water but please do not add too much water this is exactly the consistency you should be aiming at and as you can see it is very smooth so you have to blend it till it turns very smooth now pour it into a plate or a bowl and with that same blender I'm going to be blending the crayfish the onion and the scotch bonnet peppers which I've already washed so I'm going to be blending it but make sure you don't add any more water to it just blend it the way it is so for me I like to blend it roughly but if you like you can blend it smooth smoothly um, I guess it's your choice so but this is how I prefer it Now moving over to the pot, I'm going to take the fish out of the heat and then I'll set that aside. Now I'm going to add the palm oil. I'm going to add about a cooking spoon of the palm oil. Just make sure you don't add too much oil to this soup because the melon has its natural oil so you don't want your soup to be too oily so after about five minutes of allowing the oil to cook i'm now going to add the blended eggsy seeds um the crayfish peppers and the onion then i will cover the pot and allow it to cook for maximum of 10 minutes 10 good minutes i repeat allow this to cook for 10 minutes now after 10 minutes i'm going to add back the fish i'm just going to put the fish back into the pot and i'll cover it again and allow it to cook for another 10 minutes 
Now, it is very important to cook your eggusi for 15 to 20 minutes. That way you are sure that your eggusi is properly cooked. Because if not, you are likely to poach and that is not what you want, okay? Yeah, so make sure you test um, for salt and for more seasoning cubes. If you need, you can add more. For me, I needed and I, I went ahead and added more um, salt and one out of the two inside the nut cubes. Now, after a total of 20 minutes of cooking the soup, I will now add my vegetable. Um, if you don't like too much vegetable in your soup, you can add little. But for me, <laughs> I like it. Like, I love vegetables. I don't know why, but yeah. So I went, I added a little before, but it wasn't okay. So I went ahead and added all the vegetables I showed you earlier in this video. The one that I already um, um, washed and sliced. So now cover the pot and allow it to cook for more five minutes and your soup is as good as ready look at that soup are you not tempted to dive in <laughs> i was cooking this soup but <laughs> i was shaky like i couldn't wait wait to dive in so yeah that's the end of this video i hope you like it if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i will see you all in my next video